The trials and tribulations of grinding nearly 3,000 units in 19 days. Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. As a lot of you know, back on the 23rd of March last month, I did set out a very strict target for myself to grind nearly 1,000 units in a week increments leading up to the 23rd of April 2022. The reason for that is that there's a deal that is only relevant for, I think it is the month period, so I have to basically get 10,000 units before the deal changes to 12,000 units to get a good amount of tier 6 basic catalyst fragments and as well tier 3 alpha catalyst fragments. Essentially this is going to be my first opportunity to get my first choosable rank 4 6 star champion yes you do get one at the end a little kind of gem at the end of doing 100 percenting but for me it's all about making a choice and especially making bumps to things like prestige and also just kind of creating a better roster going forward for my six stars which uh, needs to start that indeed process the process of this has been going relatively well i'm going to talk about the good and the bad of this particular process. It was important to me to do this and set this target, this goal for myself because it goes into my first one of 2022. My goal was to 100% act seven and get my first ever rank four six star champion, in particular that. But making that decision, which has been difficult, especially because as going non-spending, I have to get my units through different means. I mean, yeah, I'd love to put like, you know, loads of money into the game, but it's just not practical um, and in this day and age to kind of put the amount of money in to get what a lot of other players are getting out from it that can spend exponential amounts of money. So I'm back into a grinding in non-arena units and also arena units. And we're going to explain about the process of that. And also something that I've been keeping secret that I haven't actually used yet uh, in order to get more units. Okay, so the 23rd of March when I put my first video out talking about deals in the process was 5,114 uh, 5, units. By 4th of April, which was last week, I had 7,004. And then this morning and right now which you can see on screen is 8027 units the reason i've put the 11th of april afternoon is that i plan to record a video which i'm going to release tomorrow which is going to be about doing a new kind of rng war series with the community which is something that you if you see tomorrow's video you'll understand what happens so it could be a case as of today anything miraculously could happen with grabbing a load of units but in case i digress we need to talk about the process the good and the bad. So what has been the good? And it has been relatively good. I've been looking to shave little amounts of units at any given time. From doing a good chunk of the milestones, some weekends have been good, and I've tried to balance this around a lot of my time, which has been great. I've still managed to like facilitate a lot of the things that I do uh, on a daily basis from, you know, having extra employment elsewhere while I'm working for a games developer. I'm also then finding time to spend time with like M. I've got um, other things that I do at the weekend, which is not about making YouTube videos and also grinding this game. I have like a garden that I like to tend to uh, and other stuff that's important to me, seeing family and other things like that. But when I have been having an opportunity to play, I have to be very savvy with where I go to grind. I mean, here's a good example right now. I'm kind of working towards something in Act 7.4.5 without using any kind of like unit spend. So fingers crossed things are going really well. I haven't spent any units, but I've been doing all the unit paths and kind of grabbing all the units from there, which is 90 a piece. Overall, that's 450 extra units, which I've been able to pick up. There's also been... Of the 19 days that has been, or kind of like 19 opportunities for the solo event, the 22 hour one, I've been doing them. Event quest completion is always very difficult because I look to kind of like balance my energy spend accordingly, especially with not overusing my energy. And when I am using it, I'm using it in, in like, saving it really because there's 30 units a piece on energy refills and i don't want to be doing that i want to be balancing my energy spend correctly and not losing out yes whilst i'm recording this video i'm at 70 energy uh, but as soon as this video ends i'm going to be working on um the 7.4.5 100 percent guide and that's my kind of uh my next kind of focus point is to do uh that what what else has gone good well going to do normal difficulty in some as these are these are kind of things that i've you know, talk about and advocate for like uh, for a long time. If I'm low on units, I need to grab some, especially with these targets being such a a key element to grabbing units and grabbing them quickly, especially for the deal, which which will be 
you know, I save 2000 units, which means that that's two weeks extra work if I continue this process on. So I've been trying to do like initial completions and 100%ing of uh, normal difficulty because in the completion you get units and in 100%ing you get units. The very different thing when it comes to things like heroic, which you have to 100% to get the full kind of volume of units. Excuse me. So that's the kind of process that I'm working with there. So that's that's been working incredibly well. And you know, when it comes to extra units I could be getting, you probably have noticed I have 450,000 battle chips still left. And the reason I've got them left is because I am doing a series, as I said, which is kind of like me versus the community um, or people that have submitted screenshots on Discord as to, we've got a special room for that, where I try and see if I can get exactly the same or I try and see like, did I do better? Did I do worse? And kind of like, it's kind of RNG wars. I, I think that's probably the, the way I'm going to talk about it. It's like Arena Crystals, RNG RNG wars me versus the community to see who gets the most units kind of uh, not competition but kind of like interesting data comparison so what has been the bad because obviously it's got to go good and it's got to go bad I think the the main thing with with bad is there are only small gripes with this it hasn't been that bad to grind out the amount of units and the biggest problem for me is time. These last two weeks are crucial because as of today is the 11th and the deal, which I think expires on the 23rd of April, means that by, and I think if, as I've got my kind of notes up right here, I'm going to bring up the calendar uh, into, into screenshot. It's like I've got to, in these last final two weeks, uh, ranging from the 11th right the way through to the 22nd when I need to engage the quest, I've got to gather the extra 2,000 units that I need. So that becomes a problem when things become a little bit um, stressful. And I think that's the other element to it. Like I've got a lot of other like personal things on. It's Easter weekend um, starting off this Friday, Good Friday, which means that I do want to spend uh, some time with M because she's off work. And there's also like bank holiday Monday as well. So you have to kind of balance your time around these things. There's also the other element of going, you have to, look, and that's the thing, I'm not kind of going like, oh, what was me? But it's like, you know, the people out there, you know, got kids, they got time, they, they got school, got study, they got homework, whatever. You're all out there trying to do your thing and also balance your time. But that's just the problem with stuff in MCOC. It's like you have to set yourself a target in order to get stuff done and find time when you got available time uh, for it. And I'm no exception to that. I've like, I have got another job. Like, even though you kind of think, oh, well, I do videos on YouTube. It's still something I've got to, it helps to pay my bills because that's, you know, that. And then I'll have like one month when I'm not working for the games developer and then one month when I'm working because it's kind of like a part-time thing. So it's like I've got some very big deadlines in the next couple of weeks. So it's very important to, um, to facilitate that and make sure I do that. Also two other family functions. So it's again, so important to balance your time and thinking about what's the best ways to grab the units in that length of time and is it going to be possible and you have to be very very kind of like quick on the draw but as i said i'm not i'm not going to like preach i'm preaching to the the converted here you know exactly what i mean by that when you've got to devote time and you've got other stuff on so is it all doom and gloom heck no it is not all doom and gloom why because as i said we've got this great opportunity to see in the next 24 hours it's either going to go really well or really badly and that is going to mean that the 8027 units up there in the next 24 hours could be 10,000 units if they go 10,000 units with 451,000 battle chips getting things like arena crystals based on that video I did say that I was going to do, it could mean a great opportunity uh, for me to be, um, you know, getting right into 7.4.6. I'm going to 100% 7.4.5 today, put out the guide video tomorrow. And also this video is either the, this kind of like RNG wars type video is either going to go well or badly. Uh, and that's just the thing. This gives me a little bit of a buffer. It also then kind of means that my grind over the foreseeable week is either going to be as extensive and, uh, you know, um, scary or it's going to be really, really kind of like good. If I've only got like 500 units to grind at, 500 to 1,000 units to grind at the end of uh, tomorrow, then... I'm going to be pretty happy with that as well. If RNG screws me over, though, it does mean that that affects the uh, the kind of the extent here. If I only get like 100 
to 500 units, I'll probably be like, okay, well, I'm going to have to set up a grind process here for this and go, okay, well, how many solo events are, are there for the foreseeable two weeks? When will I achieve that? Is that the day that I'll be able to do the completion 7.4.6? And then it's happy days and kind of like, great, I've smashed that out, done the completion, got the offer, and then it's a case of doing the 100% within 24 hours after, and we have a big old celebration and a massive crystal opening stream. That would be nice, wouldn't it? And that would be the plan. That would probably be the end to April uh, with that, to try and like, you know, toast the success of, uh, of the opening. So that would be cool if that happens. So that's really it. Um, final thoughts. Okay, so I've put all the notes to this that I've kind of like collected in the description down below if you are interested in any kind of info. Uh, but there's some facts to kind of go over. Like um, I had to add in an extra one hour to 1.5 hours average extra arena grind in order to achieve what I've achieved. The rest of the stuff is kind of like auto fighting. I've had to kind of like balance this around my personal life because a lot of the time, you know, I need to pay my bills, as many other people do do who are out there working hard. So yeah, you've got to kind of balance your time. Uh, and that's really it. It's been okay. It's not been ridiculous, uh, but it's just something that at times I do like grinding arena, especially when I'm watching a movie, listening to a podcast, watching a film, whatever. Right, it's a good opportunity to then grab an extra hundred, uh, like a uh, extra hundred units, just by doing like thirty minutes to uh, about an hour worth of work, and it's great to have a roster for this. So yeah, it's been good. It's been fun. I don't know if I'd overly recommend it to people, especially trying to do 1,000 units a week, but definitely to do nearly 3,000 units in the space and time that I have done, I've been very happy with. And uh, yeah, tune in tomorrow to see if I get the units I require um, very early to then make sure that I can then go and grind 7.4.6 and 100% that in time. But we'll have to see. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I shall see you in some more content very, very soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.